breaking news. Buhari, what Tinubu told Buhari when I asked him to pick my running mate. Tinubu asked, you know, Buhari to pick his running mate because he was the one who picked Buhari's running mate. He was the one who picked Buhari's running mate. So he also now asked Buhari to pick his own running mate. Remember, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, at the initial stage, Tinubu was supposed to be Buhari's running mate himself. Yes, but because of the Muslim Muslim ticket, that same old problem eh, that is that Tinubu wants to prove to Nigerians now is the same problem he wants to he wants to end it once and for all by saying to Nigerians that he can have a Muslim Muslim ticket and nothing will happen. The same thing he wants to do again. The same thing he wants to do again. Okay? The same thing he wants to do again. So it is what it is. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. What Buhari told me when I asked him to pick my running mate, Tinubu confesses. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, has opened up on a conversation he had with President Muhammadu Buhari. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, the presidential candidate, has opened up on the conversation he had with President Muhammad Buhari on his choice of running mate. Tinubu disclosed this at the, at the residence of Pa Ruben, Fasunroti, leader of the Afeni Ferry Yoruba Social Cultural Group, on Sunday in Akure, Ondo State, the capital. Tinubu said that the visit was in fulfillment of an earlier promise he made to the Afeni Ferry leader before APC primaries. I promise to come back after winning the APC ticket. I am here to say thank you, all Yoruba leaders, and also ask you to back me up and for the presidency. I come to say thank you to Buhari and the Northern Governors for their steadfastness and for being promise keepers. The North proved to me Nigeria can survive its unity. Some people wanted Buhari to announce someone but the president said no. He insists the process must go on democratically. Buhari said that anybody that would mess up APC process would see his other side. He remained upright to the end. Northern APC governors resolved that the presidency must go to the south, especially southwest. Governor E. Rufai Aganduji Abdurrahim and others supported me to the end. The battle was tough. At a point, I was in doubt. There were many rumors, and I became confused over what to believe. Buhari told me I promised his name with the way I won the primary election because the process was clean and transparent. Nobody could accuse him of manipulating it. No, Buhari never had anything to do with the process. The president said I gave him credibility and deserves to be president. When I asked him to nominate vice presidential candidate for me, he said I should pick whoever I wanted. And it is the reason I chose a competent man in the person of Kashim Shatima, who had never lost any election because he, had been, he, had, he has protected Christians in time of trouble in his state. He stated, the immediate past general secretary of the Afeni Ferry, Chief Sundu, I read before, asked Tinubu to be a leader that will unite Nigeria and work for the, for the progress and development of the country rather than for some side. You are not a Yoruba man, but a Nigerian. You have become Nigeria, and so you must not see yourself as a Yoruba man. Our demands are whatever, whatever will rescue this nation, restructure it, security, the economy, we want state police and we want this country to be safe. We know that the other presidential candidates, Peter Obi, Atiku, and others, but we want change in this country now. This is what we are demanding and this is what we are asking for. And we ask that you will help us go through this process. So this was what transpired today in Akure, Ondo State, the capital. Okay, when Tinubu went to you know, went to the people to ask for help 
This was what transpired. This was what happened. Okay, this was what happened. This was what went on. Tinubu went there and asked, you know, that they should support him. They should endorse him against any other candidate. The likes of Peter Obi, who the, the former leader, Payu Adebanjo, has endorsed. Yeah, okay. Payu Adebanjo has already endorsed Peter Obi. And um, he came out to say, oh, uh, please endorse me. I cannot go out there and be asking people to support me when my own house is divided. No man goes to a battle with a divided house and intend to really make progress out of that situation. Because the minute you disregard the fact that you really need help and help will, and yeah, that you know help needs to come, you know, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised and uh, it is important. It's important that everybody begin to watch and watch your back. You can't just sit back there and pretend that everything is going well. So these are part of the things that are happening. Why everybody, every one of us must begin to work at it and ensure that at the end of the day, we are calling for you know, the issues that really matter to every one of us and change become the order of the day so much so that we can truly you know, get what we really need and what we really deserve. And we can truly become a happier and a better people. Remember that you have a voice and we must continue to speak out so that at the end of the day, Nigeria can be safe. Nigeria can be better. Our children can go to school and be happy and know that they are in school, you know, and know that they are protected. Parents can move about and do not feel security threats. You see the days upon us, eh? if everybody keep quiet and allow these things to go on, it's going to come at not just one, but everyone. So what are we doing? How are we doing what we're doing to ensure that, you know, we, we come out this, come of this very, you know, this whole thing that are happening. Okay. Is Tinubu really qualified? Do you think he can rule Nigeria? Do you think he should have been endorsed? That's your, that's your decision. Then go ahead and support him. If you think otherwise that, no, I feel this or that person, then go ahead and support the candidate of your choice. You feel, you, you, you think, has got what it takes to bring Nigeria to the desired destination, to bring us into a progressive path where we can truly become a better nation. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Bye-bye.